people come to me all the time and tell me that they're spending half or even more than half of their income on rent. That's not affordable and, quite frankly, it's not sustainable. The B.C. government has launched a new housing program to fast-track rentals for people who make a decent wage in B.C. but are still having trouble affording housing. At a press conference in North Vancouver on Tuesday, B.C. Premier David Eby said the B.C. Builds program takes advantage of land owned by the government, by community or by nonprofits to provide homes that rent at prices of about 30 percent of household income. Uh, that's a figure typically cited as affordable for housing. This initiative fills an absolutely critical gap that we've seen, uh, which is around a dedicated entity to bring together partners to deliver housing that people can actually afford. And there's a critical segment of our workforce that's struggling to find housing in the communities in which they work. The 18-story apartment being built behind the press conference is part of the program, providing 180 places to live for middle-income households. Two other builds are in progress, providing for a total of 400 additional homes in the province, and 3,600 more will be built over the next two years. So generally speaking, to be eligible for this program, you or your household needs to be making at least $84,780 a year. Now, if you make less than that, it doesn't necessarily rule you out, but the government might defer you to another rental program that focuses on lower income. So say you're eligible, you take 30% of that minimum income required and divide it by 12 calendar months. You'll come out with a rental payment of just over $2,100 a month. Now compare that to the average rent for a one-bedroom apartment in Vancouver in January, which was $2,700 a month. See, that's about a couple thousand dollars of savings a year. UBC Associate Professor Tom Davidoff says the government's new initiative is a huge investment, but it also underscores how hard it is to build affordable housing, even for people with decent incomes. For the magnitude of the investment, uh, you're only building housing for people who are doing reasonably well, as you say. It's just not feasible. Even when land is being given away by municipalities, and even when the province is coming in with uh, low interest financing, you're still renting to people making well over $100,000 a year. The province has already identified 20 sites with the potential to build up to 4,000 rental units. The homes will be funded by a mix of low-cost financing, up to $2 billion, with a $950 million investment from the province by way of grants and subsidies to support a limited number of below-market rents. In Vancouver, Kirjunos, City News.